morning, viewers. Welcome to the first working day of the week. Today is February 26, 2024, Monday. And uh, how was your night? How was your weekend? <laughs> I believe that your weekend was so powerful and wonderful. And may the Lord's name be praised in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. And so, gracious Father, we thank you once again for waking us up this morning. Lord, we beg you that you will help us open our eyes of understanding to hear your word. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Our reading this morning is Psalm chapter 60. Psalm chapter 60. You have rejected us, God, and defeated us. You have been angry with us, but now turn back to us. You have made the land tremble, and you have cut it open. Now heal its wound, because it is falling apart. You have made your people suffer greatly. We stagger around this through, though we, we are drunk. We stagger around as though we were drunk. You have warned those who have reference for you so that they might escape destruction. Save us by your might. Answer our prayer so that the people you love may be rescued. From this sanctuary, God has said, in triumph our divine Shechem and distribute Sukkot value in my people. Gilead is mine. And Manasseh too. Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah my royal scepter. But I will use Moab as my washboard, and uh, I will throw my sandals on Edom as a sign that I own it. Did the Philistines think they could they would shout in triumph over me? Oh who, oh God, will take me into the fortified city? Who will lead me? To Adam, have you really rejected us? Aren't you going to march out with our armies? Help us against the enemies. Human's help is worthless. With God on our side, we will win. He will defeat our enemies. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The topic this morning is the need for help. The need for help. The anchor verse is, Give us help from trouble. From, for vain is the help of man. Though God, through God, we shall do vainly. For he, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Verse 11, let me read it with my translation. Help us against the enemies. Human help is worthless. With God on our side, we will win. He will defeat our enemies. I pray for you that this week, you will defeat, God will grant you strength to defeat all your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy on your way, or every stumbling, every mountain on your way, God will send help from heaven to give you strength to defeat your enemy this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I remember when we wanted to push the barrel of that 350 megaton injection molding machine in a few centimeters forward. Now, the, the, they say we, we are about five trying to carry out this feat. We needed to move the barrel before we could do major maintenance work on the machine. The job appeared simple and easy to do. But when we began to push, the barrel didn't move an inch, no matter how hard we tried pushing. The barrel remained in one spot. We didn't realize the weight of what we were up against. Then one of us remembered the hydraulic jack. After carefully pressing, placing it in the right position, the jack did the pushing in no time for us. So a job that was impossible for five persons was done 
with help of a hydraulic jack. Same way a jack will help a car owner lift his car for a flat tire replacement. The hydraulic jack here proves to be an indispensable helper. Now, we are in a world today where many think that they can do everything all by themselves. We are in a world where we see many people solely depend on themselves, depend on the money, depend on the connection they have for survival or for success, not knowing that it is God who helps anybody he wants to help. Amen? So, these people say that they wanted to try this thing on their own. Let me tell you, with man's effort, you can do nothing. This is the beginning of the working day of the week. If you are here listening to my voice, thinking that with the connection you have, with, with your brothers around you, your sisters, or with the money you have, that you don't need the help of God, I want to tell you, you are a joker. You are a joker. You, don't, you are not serious with your life. Because no matter how you how far you think you succeed, one day you will need God. No matter how strong you think you are, one day you will need God. Pharaoh, when God asked him to release the children of Israelites, when Moses did his own it is sent when God sent plagues in the land of Egypt. Uh, uh, the Pharaoh on his with his magicians did will also do his, his own, thinking that by his strength or by the powers of the magician that he would defeat God. No, he did, he, he did not succeed. There is one that happened. All the magicians went to Pharaoh and said to Pharaoh, Sir. This is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. Let me tell you, uh, even in Acts of Apostles chapter 12, the down, down, down part of it, the Bible says that when Pharaoh was talking, people say that he is talking like God. Then he, he accepted the praise. He made himself God. He thinks that he can do all things without God. Because even in the preceding verses of that, of that uh, chapter, you see that he acted as a god because he, uh, he killed James, and because he killed James, because he killed James, and it was pleased to the Jews, he, 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 he arrested Peter also. And uh, God showed him that he is God. So whenever you think that you don't need God, let me tell you, you are a fool. Because the Bible says that it is a fool that says that there is no God. So, in all we do, we, you need God. I also need God. And the, it is the help of God is the ultimate. It is only the help of God is the ultimate. Who betide you that if you are in this world and it looks as if that you are far from God, that you are depending on your connection, or depending on your strength, depending on your academics, depending on your certificate. Some people depend on their certificate. Uh, don't you know that I'm a first class student? Don't you know that this and that? Let me ask you a question. What, what will you do? Who, if you, is it not because you are alive that made you to become that first class candidate? But some people have forgotten all that. They don't know that it's, it's just by God's help. So, please, a time comes when our human effort, wisdom, connection, and ability will fail. It must surely fail you. As long as you are not under God's covering. Let me tell you, there must be in a, a, a time in a man's life that if you have money, money will fail you. Connection, connection, you, the old connections you have will fail you. You will just be there and be there alone. And that time, if you are not on the side of God, I, it is only by God's mercy 
you will receive help. So, I I wisdom, education, connections, ability, everything we have will fail. But we must learn to engage God to help us at those moments instead of complaining or quitting. When that time comes, the best thing you do is not uh, uh, start complaining. Start, start uh, 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 complaining going around or quitting or, 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 or you, you just start uh, be saying that Christianity is a scam. Uh, being, uh, uh, God does not exist and all that, what not and all that. No. What you need to do is to bend down and seek for God's help. Seek for God's help in that time. Engage God daily and see his uh, salvation in your life. I want to tell you, I want to beg you, in all you do, everything you do, every day, engage God daily. Engage God in your activities and you will see his help all around you. Let us pray. Food for thought. There is no limit to what we can do with the help of uh, God. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for how far you have helped us. May we not lack your help at all times in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God, today is Monday and many people will be going out in their various businesses. Lord, may you be with them. In their business, in their working place, in their place of academics, Lord, may they find your help in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody here who is under any form of, of attack, any form of, 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 of pressure, oh God, may you help that person in the name of Jesus Christ. May the light of God shine upon you. May the helping hand of God come upon you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I hope you are blessed by the word. Join us tomorrow on the Daily Dynamite.